Hello everyone. Till now we have done exercise 10.1, question number 1, 2 and 3. And we have done two examples also. Now we are going to start with the next question of the exercise 10.1. The next question is question number 4. And we are going to do 2-3 statement sums which will be based on the complement and the supplement of an angle. Now before starting I want to just give you a quick review of this. If any angle is there, x. I don't know any angle. I am going to assume that angle is x. Then this x angle will have a complement. The complement of this angle, angle x is going to be 90 minus x. Complement means that two angles have to be there whose sum should be 90. But now if I am having one angle x, the other is going to be 90 minus x. If I have to find the supplement, supplement of the same angle x, supplement of angle x is going to be 180 minus x. Right? So these two things are the basics. These two things we are going to use in these statement sums further. Now let us start with question number 4. In question number 4, statement is there given to us. We are going to frame the equation by looking word by word of the given statement. That will be very easy for us then so that we can make the equation. Now, three times. If this is written three times, what is the meaning of three times? Three multiply. The complement of an angle is 20 more than its supplement find the angle. Now, they are saying how we are going to make the equation word by word. Three times, three times means multiply complement of an angle that angle which we don't know so i am going to assume that let the angle be x then what will be the complement of this angle x 90 minus x and then there is supplement also so the supplement of the angle is going to be 180 minus x right just now i have explained you this now on the basis of this let's move to the equation 3 times complement of an angle complement means 90 minus x because let angle b x we have assumed the angle b x we don't know this x 3 times the complement of an angle is 20 more than more than means plus its supplement supplement means 180 minus x right and then you have to find the angle that means you have to find the value of this x now how you're going to find firstly this 3 is in multiply with this complete bracket so i am going to use the distributive law in this 3 i am going to multiply firstly with 90 and then 3 i am going to multiply with minus x so 3 into 90 will give me 270 multiply 90 and 3 you will get 270 minus sign is there keep minus sign 3 into x 3x equals to now since between these two i am having the sign of plus so i am going to add them together what is 180 plus 20 200 and what is plus minus minus x as it is now all the variables i am going to take to one side and all the constants to one side out of 270 and 200 270 is the greater one and this is positive so i'm going to keep 270 this side and 200 will come to this side with negative sign because here it was plus equals to minus x i'm going to keep here as it is and minus 3x will go to the other side and it will change to plus 3x now 7, 270 minus 200 is going to give me 70 and plus 3x, 3x minus x. What it will give me? 2x. So there it will be 2x. Now how 2x? What is plus minus minus? So that means you are going to subtract 3x and x. What it will give me? 2x. Out of 3x and x, which one is the greater one? 3x and with 3x we are having the positive sign. So this will come out to be positive 2x okay now next we have to find x this will come out to be 70 upon 2 because 2x means 2 is in multiply with x and this 2 will come down on the other side in divide so 2 ones are and this will be cancelled on 35 so angle will come out to be 35 degree therefore angle is equals to 35 degree okay and you can see the solution here the same i have done here you can pause the video to note it down right now let's move to question number five again the same thing in this we are going to do in this question number five it is written an angle exceeds the measure of its supplement by 40 what is the measure of the supplement now in this question they are saying an angle we don't know that angle so let the angle be x 
exceeds the measure of its supplement we are going to tell the supplement of that angle x what is the supplement of an angle 180 degree minus x now let us move to the statement an angle exceeds the measure of its supplement that means this angle is greater than the supplement by how much 40 this exceeds means this angle is greater than the supplement by how much 40 so that means angle and the difference between angle and the its supplement is 40 this is the meaning of exceed you are going to take the difference between angle and the supplement of that angle out of these two this angle x is the greater one okay now let us solve this x minus now outside minus is there then all the signs which are inside the bracket are going to change if this is plus it will change to minus because plus minus is minus so it is going to be 180 now this is minus then it will come to plus because minus minus is plus x equals to 40 now add the variables x and x what is x plus x 2x minus 180 degree equals to 40 now variable at one side and 180 i'm going to take to the other side so 40 plus 180 degree this is 40 degree this is 180 degree 2x is equals to what is 180 plus 40 220 degree and you have to find x that means 220 upon 2 2 ones are and this is 110 so x is equals to 110 but this is not the answer they have said we have just found out that our angle is 110 but the question is what is the measure of the supplement that means you are going to find the supplement of this angle 110 110 that is equals to 180 degree minus 110 and that is equals to 70 degree so this is your answer of question number five okay make sure that you find out the correct answer angle finding the answer is fine but actual question is what is the measure of the supplement so you have to find the supplement you should firstly know what is the angle and then you can find the supplement okay now let's move to question number six again in the question number six supplement of an angle added to the complement of the angle gives 210 now there is an angle which we don't know so we are going to assume that angle has x supplement of this angle is going to be 180 minus x and complement of the same angle is going to be 90 minus x now it is saying that if the supplement of an angle that means 180 degree minus x when this supplement is added to the complement 90 minus x addition of these two is going to give me 210 degree and you have to find the angle okay see this is the equation atq means according to question the equation has been formed right now let us solve it 180 and 90 add these two it will be 270 degree minus x minus x now how you are going to solve minus x minus x what is minus minus plus so that means x and x will give me 2x but they both are of negative sign so answer will also be of the negative sign so this will come out to be minus 2x here minus 2x equals to 210 degree okay now variable at one side and all the constants at one side but this variable if i'm going to keep to this side only it will give me negative but i want the variable to be positive so minus 2x i'm going to take to other side it will change to plus 2x and 270 will remain here only 210 will come to this side minus 210 so 270 minus 210 is 60 degree equals to 2x 60 upon 2 is equals to x 2 ones are 230 are. so that means x is equals to 30 degree and this is your answer what they have told you have to find the angle so therefore angle is 30 degree you can see the solution here supplement complement added we have done the calculation and the answer is this okay yeah so now let's move to question number seven in question number seven we are going to use the concept of linear pair we have done this concept i have explained you thoroughly this concept it has been done in part one you can go and see the video now question number seven is find the unknown angles of x and y in the given figure right i i'm going to make the figure for you so that i can explain you this is angle this is angle y angle x and this is 120 now I have named them as 1, 2, 3, 4 for my comfort level. For 
my comfort i have named them as angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 now i have just told you i have told you this in the previous video also that the linear pair if the angles are on the same side of a straight line then they form a linear pair and in the linear pair sum of the angles is always 180 so if i'm going to talk about this in this complete figure we have to find the value of this x and we have to find the value of y right now i can see that this is a straight line and on this straight line these two angles are completely formed when these two angles are formed that means they are going to form linear pair angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to 180 degree and reason is must to write that this is linear pair that's why because it is linear pair that's why the sum of these two angles is going to be 180 now this 1 2 3 4 naming i have done according to me so in the figure also you will have to write 1 2 3 4 if you are going to write like this now what is angle 1 Ten degree, so write it ten degree. What is angle two? Angle y, so write angle y as it is equals to one eighty degree. Now y as it is and one eighty minus ten degree is equals to one seventy degree. So angle y will come out to be one seventy. The answer is one seventy. You want to check your answer? Just add one seventy and ten. It should give you the sum of one eighty. So angle y is one seventy. Done. Similarly, we are going to find x. Now, on the straight line, on the straight line, on the other side, we can see that this is a straight line, and this three and four, they both angles are on the straight line. So, angle three plus angle four, the sum of these two angles is also going to be one eighty because they are forming linear pair. So, angle three plus angle four is equals to one eighty, and the reason being linear pair, right? Angle three. What is angle three? One twenty. What is angle four? We have to find that is angle x equals to one eighty. Now angle x is equals to one eighty degree. One twenty will come to the other side and it is going to be sixty degree. Angle x is sixty degree and angle y is one seventy degree. And this is your answer. Okay. You can see the solution here from the given figure. I have just done the same way. Okay. Make sure that if you are writing in the answer angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four in the exam also you are going to draw the figure and on that figure you are going to write these names angle one, two, three, four. You have to write these names if you are mentioning these angles in your answer. Okay, so you can pause the video to note it down. Till then, next move to question number eight. Now question number eight you are going to do in your book. This is fill in the blanks. figure has been already given to you right now let us move first is on the basis of this observe the figure and answer the following questions this is the figure given to you angle cof is a dash angle now this is c this is o this is f when this symbol is given that means it is of 90 degree this symbol is given that means this cof that means this angle and this angle complete is how much 90 degree and what is the name of 90 degree right angle so angle cof is right angle okay now let's move to the next question now doc is 35 boe is 35 okay doc is 35 boe is 35 if they both are 35 and they both are opposite to each other so that means angle doc and boe are vertical opposite angles because they both are equal and they both are opposite also so doc boe are vertically opposite angles written right now doc and coe angle doc coe now on the straight line at one side this angle and this angle this angle and this angle what are they forming linear pair right so that means c part is going to be linear pair okay now let's move to question number 9 question number 9 also you have to do in the book you just have to tick the correct answer which of the following pairs of the angles are vertically opposite to each other refer to the given figure now in this figure these names are already given angle 1 2 3 4 they are already given now and the options are you have to tell whether angle 1 and angle 2 are opposite to each other angle 1 or 3 or this complete angle is opposite to 1 now if you will see angle 2 is half of this complete angle 
angle three is half of this complete angle, but this is angle four, which is complete, and this angle is going to be vertically opposite to the complete angle. So angle one is vertically opposite to angle four. Okay, angle one and angle four are vertically opposite angle. So you can see that in your options, one and two is given. It is wrong. One and three is given. Is wrong. Angle one and angle four. Yes, angle one and angle four. They both are vertically opposite angles. So that means C part is correct. Okay. Now let's move to tenth question. Now tenth question is very easy. Again, this has been based on the concept which I already told you in part one of this exercise ten point one in the intro. I have told you that two lines are going to be adjacent. Two angles are going to be adjacent if they have a common vertex and a common arm. This question is: Are the angles P T R and R Q S are this angle and this angle are they both adjacent to each other? They are not adjacent. Why? Because they don't have a common vertex. If they would have a common vertex Q, like P Q R and R Q S. then we would have said that these two angles are adjacent but they must be having a common arm tr but not even fully it is completely a common arm so we cannot say that they are adjacent there has to be a common vertex this is starting from t this is starting from q they don't have a common vertex so they cannot be adjacent so the answer is no angle ptr and rqs rqs are not adjacent as they do not have a common vertex right now let's move to question number 11 after that if one of the linear pair is double than the other then what are those angles now in this they are saying that one angle has to be if one of the linear pair is double than the other then what are those angles one angle is double the other and these two angles first angle and the second angle they both are forming a linear pair that means if i get to know that what is the other angle let other angle be x then one angle will be equals to is double the other that means two times the other that is going to be 2x okay again see this line if one of the linear pair is double than the other that means other means we don't know which is the other angle so i'm going to assume it as x but if i get to know that other is x first angle is going to be the double of that that means it is going to be 2x and x and 2x form a linear pair that means x plus 2x is equals to 180 if i'm going to add them it is going to form 180 and that is going to be a linear pair okay now solve this 3x is equals to 180 degree X is equals to one eighty upon three. Three ones are and sixty. X is equals to sixty degree, right? So this means the other angle is how much X, which we assumed. So therefore, other angle is equals to sixty degree, and the one angle which is there, one angle is equals to double two X two into what is the value of X sixty? So that is one twenty degree. So sixty and one twenty is the answer. See the solution. just same way i have done it okay this was your question number 11 now let's move to question number 12 now when such ratio type of questions comes always remove the ratio with x how if the ratio is given 5 ratio 1 to remove the ratio make it as 5x and make it as 1x and 1x means x Okay, because one into x means x. Okay, now two complementary angles. Complementary means there are going to be two angles whose sum is going to be ninety degree, right? So two complementary angles are in the ratio five, ratio one. Now I have just told you that you are going to remove this ratio sign and you are going to keep x with both the angles. What are the measures? Now you have to find the actual value of five x and x. Now. Let the angles be five x and x. We have removed the ratio, and the angles are going to be five x and x. Now these two angles are complementary to each other. If they are complementary, that means the sum of five x and x is going to be ninety degree. What is five x plus x? Six x is equals to ninety degree. X is equals to ninety upon six. Six ones are, and this will go on fifteen. So one angle came out to be fifteen. 
yeah so this was your 15 one angle was 5x other was x x value came out to be 15 so other you have to find 5x 5 into 15 at x i am going to place 15 what is 15 5 is a 75 so one is 15 and other is 75 you can see the solution here okay but start your question with let the angles be 5x and x according to the question as these two angles are complementary the sum of these two angles are going to be 90 okay and then solve it and you have to find the what are the measures that means you have to find the actual value x you have supposed by yourself just put the value of x in them you will be getting the answer right now let's do question number 13 if one angle is thrice the other and two angles are supplement to each other okay now in this this is also very easy question question number 13 if one angle is thrice the other other angle we don't know so let the other angle is equals to x and one angle is thrice the other thrice the other means thrice means 3 multiply by and other means we have just taken it as x so 3x now look other angle we have assumed as x then first angle is going to be 3x and these two angles are supplement to each other supplement means if i'm going to add these two angles i'm i'll be getting 180 x plus 3x is equals to 180 so 3x plus x will give you 4x equals to 180 you have to find the value of x 4 will come down on the other side right now let us solve here i'm going to solve this for you here x plus 3x is equals to 180 3x plus x 4x equals to 180 x is equals to 180 upon 4 cancel it it will come out to be 45 i have cancelled these two on the table of 4 so x is equals to 45 degree now you have to find their measures their measure means you have to find the value of this x which we have just found 45 and you have to find the value of this 3x that means first angle so 3x means 3 multiply by value of 45 what what it is 45 x and it will come out to be 135 degree so one angle is 45 other angle is 135 okay you can see this you can see the solution of this now question number 14 is also very easy again the angles that form a linear pair are in the ratio 2 ratio 7 now these two angles are in the ratio and i have just told you that if two angles are in the ratio remove them with x this will come out to be 2x and the other will come out to be 7x and these two angles are linear pair with each other so that means if i'm going to add them together it will be sum of 180 so this was the meaning of this line you have to find the measure of each angle that means you have to find 2x and you have to find 7x now 7x plus 2x will give you 9x equals to 180 degree x is equals to 180 upon 9 9 ones are and x is equals to will come out to be 20 but this is not the answer we have to find 2x and we have to find 7x 2 into 20 40 7 into 20 140 so 40 and 140 these two are the answers right so you can see the solution also again i'm saying if the ratios are there remove the ratio with the x 2x 7x and these two angles are forming linear pair linear pair means sum of these two angles is going to be 180 and then you have to find the measure of each angle that means you have to find the measure of 2x and 7x this is your answer last question look at the figure and write the pairs of vertical opposite angles now this figure has been given to you and you have to tell the vertically opposite angles now this is also very easy question a o b which is the opposite angle of this a o b d o f so a o b d o f is one pair of opposite angles vertically opposite angles second a o e this is first angle then the opposite angle is c o f these two are opposite pairs so a o e and c o f and the last is d o e is opposite to b o c so these two are opposite angles so these three are the pairs of the vertically opposite angles and this was your exercise 10.1 complete this exercise in your notebooks thank you